Um, so right now there's four probably. There's um, Likert, which I know you guys don't have. Or actually, I wouldn't. Now they're like number five, but Lindsay. Um, and you might not even know who that is. So Jim Lindsay was an NFL player and a Razorback. He actually has one of the biggest apartment complex companies in the United States. So he has apartment complexes all in the SEC, but he's got a brokerage, Caldwell Banker, and then us. And then Collier, they're based out of like New Jersey, I think. So he's in Weikart. Uh, I'm not actually not sure. I should know that. I want to say they're based out of their East Coast, but it's funny up by Buffalo. I was driving up there and seen one of the signs, but we had them in Texas. Mm -hmm. And I'd never seen them around here, but I just learned two days ago saw one of our signs. Okay. It gives you time because I'm finishing my donut. Right? Yes, so perfect. This is awesome. Who brought the donuts? We need to thank that, right? Matt, he brings it every week for thank team you. meeting. Usually. Gives us the sugar rush we all need. Yeah. <laughs> and if we were doing the luxury thing, we wouldn't have donuts. No. We'd have something like we'd baguettes or something. Or croissants. Croissants. Yes. croissants or something. Yeah. Yep. That we'd eat <laughs> delicately with a fork, not our hands. Yes. Oh, charcuterie board. That's a good one. Okay, cool. Is there a way to turn it so I don't look at the gray on the screen? Or? Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if there's a filter. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you burn those. Yeah. <laughs> there's probably not, not enough filters in the world to fix that, right? There's a white guard in Branson. In Branson? Okay, perfect. I think we should be. Am I on the screen or not? Yes, yeah, sir. We're, we're having I'm standing the camera. here. Is that fine? Yep, that's perfect. That way I can just spin on this. I'll pull this YouTube. back farther in case you need more water. So I didn't say this, and I'll remember jobs or things that I have. So I'm also teach principles of real estate at the University of Arkansas. So I teach two classes there. Last semester, I didn't. Had a lot going on, so that's kind of fun. So during COVID, half the students were in the room and half were on Zoom. Super annoying, just so you know, because I forget. And I, they'd be looking at my butt the whole time while I'm talking to you guys, you know, in the class. And then they rotate. It was like an A, B rotation. It was horrible. But uh, I love doing that. It's a lot of fun. So cool. So what did you guys read about the class? What was the, the flyer? I didn't create it, so I don't know what it was, but it was five years to learn million dollars. There you go. Yeah. Someone did a great job with it. It was beautiful, by the way. Haley. It, she's awesome. Mm -hmm. She's real. Have you guys actually not just walked by her, putting your keys in your bag and just gone to whatever you're doing and actually talked to her? It's awesome. Okay. Just want to make sure she's awesome. Mm -hmm. I do that whenever I go places. What do you like about your job? She loves marketing. Something for you to think about, you know, oh, see, she doesn't know me from Adam, but she did the marketing. So she kind of recognized she's like, oh, you're Mike. But that's things to think about because that is your first experience. Mm -hmm. But if he works with you guys, um, 20 must haves, who likes a number? So we know, okay, when he gets to 19, he's only got one more. I hope you guys did. <laughs> um, but good, like I said, your class and I'm here for you. So please ask any question in real estate. Don't we use a lot of acronyms and in Keller Williams, a lot of acronyms. So that just happens sometimes, and that's part of it. But I, did anyone Google the 100X event? Last I saw was October 6th. Also, if you're in the class, you got to yeah, follow orders. It might be when I reintroduce yourself, because there's some people that weren't at team meeting that Thank are here that. now. Good. So Mike Dooley. Um, <clears throat> now I'll just go through it, too. So today, I have nine companies, and I own a different portion of them. So for instance, Tom is here, and you guys... I own the, own the company with Dan and Jen, so I was obviously setting up ahead of time, but he is amazing. He's awesome. We love him. I own 9% of that company, and that's with Gary Keller. Do you want to be in business with Gary Keller? Oh, Hell yes. <laughs> you know, get a little excitement here. Yes, you do, right? How many, bil how many billionaires do you guys know? I guess in Springfield, there's a lot of them or something, right? I don't know. I want to be in business with billionaires. Success leaves clues, doesn't it? So is Gary going to let something fail? I mean, he's had failures, but probably not, right? So I want to be in business with him. So we're pretty excited to have him. So he'll be in the vendor program. Because Rachel don't play. Dan and I are like, get in the vendor program. She's like, oh, no. He's got to follow the orders. He's got to follow the rules and all that stuff. So I love it. So you got a leader. That's great. And I got to see her every Monday. Just so you know, I'm going to brag on her. You guys got an amazing leader there. She does care about you guys. Oh, my man. I got to step up my game. She's good, you know? <laughs> But I get to see her every Monday, and it's fun. So she represents you very well. But, yeah, nine companies, mostly real estate vertical. So I'm OP. I have a team, the Dooley Group. Um, and we'll see. Here's something that's a failure. This year, we might not hit $100 million. You know, and Tom and I were talking about different market. Could I easily go different market? Who's done that? 
No, that's not right. I should say, you know what? Hey, here was our goals. We need to hit them. We need to do it. So it's something we're working through right now. I, I believe we'll be over a hundred million. We're not pacing that right now. I don't know. We're like 44 million right now. So we got an opportunity area. But last year, I think we we're 107. Year before that, we we're about 124 million. Um, I have mortgage. I have uh, insurance. I have title. I have uh, capture marketing, which I showed. And you some of you weren't here, but I have two inventions. The key box keeper is one of them. And we'll make sure you guys get some or see some. I noticed on that flyer, how cool would it be to have the key box keeper over the lockbox on that flyer? So remember your marketing services and your market center, because uh, that goes to profit share too, and that's a win. I should say I own profit share too, don't you? Do you guys? You have a company if you didn't know. Um, so capture marketing, the easy sign key box, duly properties. So a couple of things, but ask questions and I'll weave it in. How's that sound? Does that sound fair? Am I credible enough to stand up? Is that fine? <laughs> but I'll tell you, a dad, two daughters, 10 and six, God family business. And we talked about the team meeting. You missed a good team meeting, by the way. It was very good. Well done. Uh, but my kids were with me yesterday. In the beginning, I should go, oh, I've got to bring my kids to a listening appointment or a meeting. Now I'm like, they don't want to work with me because I have my kids. I don't want to work with them. Is that fair? So just so you know, as I start kind of going through and when your business is a little bit bigger too, you don't have to have commission breath in some ways. It's like, you know what? I'm going to have passive income. Other businesses are going to help. If my real estate's down, maybe people always need insurance. What does that look like? So that's important. Did you know an insurance? So who gets who? the last house you sold? What's your name? Morgan. Morgan, awesome. Hey, you're here. Give a round. Morgan's in the house. <laughs> but the last seven houses. So say you had one client. Did they, and they bought seven houses every year. Did you make commission from all seven of those houses of one person? Did that happen? One client buying seven houses? Yeah, in a row. I, I would, yeah. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's a perfect yeah. example. This is where I'm going. Thank you for helping me. Like, she did. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> but in insurance, I make 13% commission every single year. Mm -hmm. So something that unlocked my brain, this is not part of the training, and I'll, I'll be all over the board for you too, wherever we need to be. But $66,000 is the average commission of a home. How much did you make from the last home? So think about that for a second. We always forget about that. Home warranty, title, insurance, mortgage. Start going through your list. Well, how do you maybe be part of something like that? So, I mean, I don't know if we have, obviously our vendor partners, just so you know, too, I have them. They're great. I'll make sure they're part of my one of my three or whatever it is, but we're going to meet people where they are. Because look in the room, not everyone uses the same lender or the same title, the same right, because they have different experiences. But I know you guys all use legal land title, but everyone else outside the room. So cool. Does that feel good? Any questions about the journey? So I start, I got my license. Uh, I, uh, when was it? Uh, February 14th, 2016. So a Valentine's present to myself. <laughs> so I did not start full time until August 1st, 2016. My wife wouldn't let me leave my corporate job. So I launched Yankee Candle at Walmart globally. She wouldn't let me leave that good paying job to start real estate. And she said, how much do you make again? Zero, right, unless you do something. And then in July though, working both jobs, I did seven under contracts. I, you know why? I always have, and Tom knows my wife very well. I have her on my shoulder all the time. She is one of those people. She's kind of a black hat at the time. I love her. She's very sweet. Only to me, she's a black hat. Everyone else, she's awesome. <laughs> but she's like, you can't do that. That can't happen. That happens a lot in her brain and all of our brains, doesn't it? When you agree, how many times have you told yourself today, I can't do that? So who came to class and said, I'll never, I'll never do 100 million? All right, this is an honesty class. Okay, one in the back, thank you. Just so you know, and I said this in team meeting, I believe this, get your little pointer finger, make it kind of fun, point your neighbor, point to the side of your head. The only thing stopping you is this. Our brain is a powerful machine, and I truly believe that. And I think that's what's helped me as I go, so-and-so did it. It's done before. Someone else can do it. I'm doing it. In our Keller Williams world, won't someone say, hey, how'd you do this? You're going to teach luxury tomorrow. A reminder, tomorrow's luxury. We'd love to have you from 11 to 12. Say team effort. Right? <laughs> but here's the thing. It takes 199 tasks to close a home. Wouldn't you rather do a million-dollar home than a $100,000 home? The same 199 tasks, do you make more money? Hmm, wait a minute, someone's going to teach me for free luxury tomorrow from 11 to 12. I might want to be there. Also on my journey, I think something that helped me, the first year I did 13 trainings that were not in my market center. I went to Arizona, Kristen Cole, if you like her, I love her stuff. 
uh, her expansion summit. I went to ESO in Austin and I just learned and I'm always learning. I listened to a, a podcast on the way here. Just so you know, it was way over my head. It was, um, I can tell you which one it is. So you're all like, yeah, we really want to listen to that. <laughs> I do a lot of dad jokes if I didn't tell you. <laughs> I always tell my kids as long as I laugh at it, but it's invest like the best if you wanted to. And here's the thing. I have to know where I'm going. Half the stuff, I don't know what they're talking about. Or they're talking about debt service, debt ceiling, uh, financial instruments, credit, all this stuff. But if I know a little bit about a lot, does that make me better with more clients? Yeah. So I'm educating myself every day. I think that's a strength of mine is I'm learning every single day. Reading an article, reading something, how to create something. And I'm usually never missing a class. John Maxwell, who follows John Maxwell? I love him. He says, you have to leave room for opportunity. I'm not great at that. I have about 14 meetings a day. Tom knows and he sees me. Lindsay schedules me all over the place. I don't have room for opportunity. What I'm starting to realize, I've had two or three people walk in our market center our office. Hey, Mike, a friend of mine. And I'm like, uh, are we scheduled? How bad is that? I had a buddy in him for 15 years and he's like, can we go to lunch? I text me, him and Lindsay. And I said, Lindsay, help us schedule lunch. And he's like, I got to schedule lunch with your assistant. But that's a system. If you want me to be there, unfortunately, that's what has to happen, right? So just follow that all day long. Any questions about the journey? Good. So 20 must-haves. I'm going to kind of go through it. And I'll make sure you have this list. But here's another thing is I've learned from Ben Kenny and a lot of other people. Simple. So, you know, and maybe you kind of battle through, could I spend 97 hours doing this PowerPoint that was 87 pages? That you're only going to get one thing out of it, right? So that's a so just so you know, this is from my notes page, and I created this for the 100x event. So I'm paying it forward. So I highly recommend them. We actually, just so you know, legally we couldn't call it 100x. So now it's multiply something. I hate the name, and that's okay, right? So I, I do want to cover that really quick. So during COVID, I said, how do I help people? And hopefully, you're going to realize a theme here. I just do stuff. I said, how do I help people in COVID in our Keller Williams family? Who's never been to family reunion or mega camp or something like that? Okay, perfect example. Life happens, doesn't it? I got kids or someone's watching something or work or I can't leave or anything. That happens, doesn't it, to all of us? My wife reminded me that kids start school during mega camp. So she might not go, you know? So you kind of balance through. So I invented or created... Uh, this 100x event for people that could not go to family reunion or mega camp. Here's another thing is if you've been, is it very expensive? But here's a great thing is if you know a recruit, Rachel would love to take one. What's your goal? Do you have one already? Ten. Ten. See, I weave that in too. Just so you know, I am lucky with a good memory. Kind of like Rain Man a little bit. That helps sometimes. But we need 10 recruits. Do you know the average recruit will pay you a profit share of capper? The numbers change 1790, somewhere in there. Wouldn't you like a free extra 1790? And maybe that's a way for you to go for free to make a camp family reunion next time. But it's expensive. It could be two to three grand, maybe is what you're budgeting. So I just said we have 175,000 associates, just too expensive. It's hard. How do we create something that's 10 bucks? So our event, it's actually, and forgive me, this was not on me. I wanted to be 10 bucks when I invented it, but the platform and all that stuff, it's like 19. So it's still pretty cheap. So 19 bucks is all day of the greatest real estate minds and people that are just going to be on Zoom for you. And you can do it wherever in your pajamas at home. And they're going to tell you the best of what they do in 15 minutes. Hard hitting, hard hitting. You're going to go luxury. You're going to go this. And I'm going to teach you something to 100x your business for 10 bucks, 19 or whatever now. So I'd love where you guys are going. I think it's October 12th. But the point about that. Guess how much money we've raised? I've done this is going to be the third annual. The first two raised four hundred thousand dollars for KW Cares. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So if you're a benefit of that, and I was thinking about your see back to Raymond. I did miss her name. I think it starts with an L. The lady that had the little tumor in the back of her head. Well, kind of got there, you know. It was a lot of stuff flying at me. But back to we should make sure KW Cares. We have some relationships. So I'm on the board of KW Cares. You know, we've given $68 million to our associates. Walmart, Home Depot has not done that to their associates. So think about the place you work at. If you just had to tell someone, hey, meet with Rachel and gave them that story about giving to our people, pretty freaking amazing. 
So that's cool. Give me chills all the time when I see those applications of grants come through. I'm like, yes, yes. You're like, Mike, you got to read some of them. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Let's spend the money. Let's help them. But I would love for you guys to come. Is that cool though? What I would tell you is this is what I love about the company. And I love they're saying entrepreneurs thrive. I believe that. Just so you know, I do that all day, every day. Tom will tell you on our mortgage company, something's not moving faster. I'm like, I'll text Gary Keller right now. We're moving this along. So have that in your mindset. So I went, I looked at 100X and I couldn't find anything. So what I think would it be Google hundred X KW cares? Well, I think now it's called last year's yeah, it was last year. Okay, so the new one hasn't logged yet. No. But I think it's we'll get you the details, but I think it's October 12th. I have another planning meeting for working on the speakers. I'm gonna be one, so I'm so excited. <laughs> um, actually, I think I'm gonna we're gonna try to make it fun. So the first year <clears throat> I brought in music artists that were actually Keller Williams people and they were a band and they played. It was not perfect because, you know, think about it. It's in their living room or whatever. But see, what would I have done saying, oh, we can't do it. It's not perfect. No, just move it forward. Is that fine? Move it forward. I was only just getting my head. We made it fun. We still raised almost 400 grand in two years. So that's incremental to KW Carrier's money that they raise now. So, and this is in no particular order, just so you know. But to me, I came up with what's kind of 20 things that has made this happen, a $100 million business. Just so you know, now people are doing it billion dollar businesses crazy isn't it uh, but what am i spending time in now how do i do you know wealth is the top five google word in the united states interesting so what do you think our clients are googling well so back to the seven purchases who would be someone that would purchase seven homes investors an investor so is that part of your portfolio it is now for me and if you weren't in here and i have to remember some things you weren't in here earlier but I, I work with a couple clients and I tell them three or four clients. So it's, that's all you get of me. And they're hedge funds usually. We're purchasing a whole neighborhoods. So $28 million, 2%, that's a 500 grand commission. So is it 199 tasks to close one neighborhood? Yep. Just so you know, here's the great thing about big investors like that. I actually don't write any of the contracts their lawyers do. So it's actually simpler than a $120,000 trailer and whatever wheeler. Is that the kind of thing? So that would be hard, right? How many hours do you have in that thing? They're all numbers driven. There's no emotions. They're like, oh, I don't really like the pink color in the kitchen. It's business. Let's move it forward. And I just keep sending them deals. Are you seeing a lot of that now in your area? I am. People, when we went over 500,000 in population, people, it just got on Wall Street Journal, got on all these places. And we have their NWA council, which is Walmart, J.B. Hunt, Tyson families come together. And they basically are like, how do we spend more money at the airport? You know, right, right now, we're the number one mountain biking capital. There's everything, you know, and that's all marketing. And that's all driven by them because they want talent to move there. So I moved there in 2006 and people are like, where's Arkansas on the map? And I was like, I don't really know. <laughs> so just so you know, I'm from Miami, Florida originally. But I moved there to sell to Walmart. I worked for Kraft Foods, who likes Oreos. I sold 100,000 cases of Oreos a week. It was kind of fun. But you know, the margin is only 6%. Is that number kind of common? I was like, I can do 6%. So we'll get through this list, I promise, a little bit. But I just, like I said, no particular order. And I just want you to, you'll find a few of them. All 20 aren't going to work for all of you. Is that is that fair? Just want to give culture is number one. So to me, and we'll, Rachel, we'll publish this. But to me, the market center, you guys got a phenomenal culture. So here's what I learned from my man back there that's going to do the hedge fund piece and get it going, is you have a team. When I say who's a single agent, actually no hand should go up. You're all a team. You're part of 412 agents. So are you using that in every listing appointment? So is the culture what you want? Just so you know, here's another thing is, I didn't love our culture sometimes in our market center. Well, I couldn't blame anyone but myself. I'm part of it. Experience it. Can you bring a donut? Can we make sure we talk to Haley? Can we do those things? So culture is really important. And here's where I have another word in here later, but just to mean, do you like coming to work? Did anyone say you must be here? Hopefully not, right? You're your own culture. You drive it. So to me, here's another thing. Give yourself permission. If I'm not good in seven hours, right? I have, if I'm not good in like 17 minutes, walk out. It, here's where I'm no joking aside. I heard Gary say this. You're reading the book and it's not good. Put it down. But we have in our brain that we have to finish the book. No, you don't. So fun is number two. So here's another thing is 
who's not having fun right now? Me, some, that's all right. So here's what you do. You have to figure out systems. So Tom knows uh, my kind of chief of staff, Lindsay's her name. And I would say, how do we have more fun? Well, we had a happy hour yesterday. We walked right next door. We all had a happy hour. So who controls fun? So you're not going to have a big business or a long-standing business if you're not having fun. So do you guys, I'm sure, have, I saw there's a lot of fun stuff on there already for the team meeting. Float trips, happy hours. Oh, it's, don't tell me, teeny ice cream things, whips, pineapple tiny whips. pineapple whips. <laughs> teeny, <laughs> teeny, 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 teeny. Yeah. So who's coming to pineapple whips? So fun. Just so you know, that's how you get business is having fun in your life. That's important. We only have one life, and I think that's something. Failing forward fast. So just so you know, Colin Powell, some of you are younger in here, but he was an amazing general. And he said, if I have 70% of the information, I act. If I have 30% or less, I do nothing. So that's something that's important to me. Also, in the beginning of my real estate career, I was like, ah, what do I do differently on a transaction? What do I do? What was it? We didn't get number three. Hey, just, just so you know, this is your class too. Hey, yo, hey, woo! Mike, what was three? Hey, we need number Failing three. forward fast. And I'll, I'll give it to you. So what I mean on that too, I did this in the beginning. I would have this $7 million luxury deal, which you can come see tomorrow, 11 to 12. And it didn't work out. And then three days later, I'd be like, why didn't I get that $7 million? And you're dragging it on. No, I mess up. And I just say, hey, what would I do differently? And I forget about it. That happened already. That's something else. Back to this point to your head, your brain. When you do no good energy, and just so you know, the client that you didn't want to work with, that didn't want to work with you, they're not thinking about you. Move on. So I move on really, really fast. I think it's important in this business. You have to move quickly. Tom, how quickly do we move? Quick. Yeah. So mindset, I've done this. So this thing out of the, all the list probably is the most important. Believing in it. So we're at June 13th. Did you guys know this? You know, we're halfway through the real estate year. So what could you do? You could say, I haven't had the year I wanted. Or you can say, well, I have half of the year to go. So what can I do? So say you're, throw out your number. What's your goal for this year in volume? I just said 25 units is what I- Okay, I love yeah. it. So how are you now halfway through the year? I am not at 50%. <laughs> okay, yeah. so what if I said, what if you said 50 units? Here's what I'm gonna challenge you guys, just whatever. And this is not a double it thing. This is just talking out loud. You're going to think differently and say, how do I get to 50? You're going to use leverage differently. You're going to use your vendor partners differently. You're going to do something differently and say, you know what? I got half the year left. Mm -hmm. So I can, so what if you hit 42? Is that still almost double 25? Yeah. So here's what else. I figure out a way how you use the cash. So what's your average price point here? 250. 250? Okay, so just quick math. Say you say five grand, does that feel good? So we added, uh, what did I add? Uh, 20 something units, right? So times five grand is a hundred more grand. So what would you do with it? So just so you know, I saw there's 1,089 listings. So is business available? So I look at my first half of the year too and I stopped doing some of the things I'm not good at or I was doing. So be okay with a meeting maybe you're going to that you just feel obligated, stop. Or you make it better. The best meeting I've ever had in my career was seven minutes. I met with a builder. We met for a beverage and he said, I got seven minutes. I got to pick up my kids. And we just boom, 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 boom. And got things done. It was awesome. Feel good? Cool. So here's what I do. Actually, you find myself do this a lot. You might see me. I just point to my head and say, get out of your head. And you got to do that. What if you said a hundred units? So are there people in the market center doing a hundred in a year? Okay. So could you go say, hey, I'm going to do 100 this year. Can I meet with you for 15 minutes? Have you met with them? Uh, I mean, I know some of them, uh, Adam, Dan, Jan, go through the list. But they say, no, I can't meet with you for 15 minutes. So just so you know, that's free. And that's team, right? Feel good? So halfway through the year, double it up. But what, is, what was going to make you do that? What if I said a uh, close friend of yours, Needs a heart transplant, they're going to die if you don't make 100 grand more. Would you do it? 
Yeah, I would say necessity would make me do that. So of course. Yeah. So why aren't we doing that? So we need our thing, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things my wife's jam is her feet in the sand. Anybody else? Yes. We're going to the beach on Friday. That is her jam. <laughs> and I got to make a 38 house happen. That's in my head. I'm going to make that happen for my wife because she deserves it and we deserve it. We're going to do that. Here's the great thing is we're in real estate. A friend of mine makes 87 grand on his beach house. So see what I'm saying? So we're thinking differently now, aren't we? It's not an expense. I can cost seg. I can do other things, can I? I can donate to charity. What if Make-A-Wish is like, hey, one of the kids' dreams is to have, I'm on the Make-A-Wish board in Northwest Arkansas, to do a week-long beach trip with his family. Oh, great. I have a house. I'll donate it to you. I write it off in taxes and change a kid's life maybe, right? Feel good? So I, we're at number four, going for five. Education and learning. So luxury, you're very good at that. Great, got to pay it forward tomorrow. Are you doing anything to make you better in luxury? Like learning, podcasts, articles, YouTube, something like that. Because that's your niche and that's what you're staying on. That's what you're honing in on. I think that's important when I think about me and nine companies. I'm way too spread. So I'm starting to think about now, how do I hone that back in? So I'm getting better at the things that I like. So my first half of the year, I'm evaluating what I liked, what was fun. And I'm, so I'm go, going through this list all the time, just so you know, to see if I'm meeting it. So education and learning. So what could that look like? Who takes 15 minutes to drive to the office? Anybody less than that, 15 minutes? Okay, a couple of us. But still, most podcasts, 30 minutes on the way here, on the way back. So... Uh, I heard someone say, if you do anything, let's get our calculator, calculators, let's make it interactive. The donuts are starting to set in, I can see it. <laughs> so 18 minutes times 365, what is that? 6,570. Divided by 60. 109. So if you do something for 18 minutes a day, <laughs> you're the top 1% of whatever that thing is. Pretty interesting, isn't it? So when we think about it, 18 minutes, it's not really that much. But when I say 109 hours, then you're like, oh, so what if 18 minutes a day, you got better in luxury? Would you not be the best luxury person in the country? Probably. So what's stopping us? Cool. Oh, so people and talent. So who are the people around you? So kind of go through the list too. Are they helping you have fun? A journey that's been tough for me the last two years, I've actually got rid of a few people in my life it's like not that i've just said you're out of my life right maybe don't respond to as fast in the text you know just figure out why you don't go to that meeting or do that thing people in town are going to change everything so you know they say this a lot and you've probably heard it you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with so look at those five people are they the best people tom's one of them for me he's someone i spend time with a lot he's he has a lot of qualities i don't have he's brilliant and smart, I know what I am, you know, halfway dad funny, but I execute. So we're going to learn something together and we're going to execute. How are we feeling about our list? This is family internal and external. So to me, this is your family. What does it look like? So when I think about that, and I think about that life. What does my church look like? How many people, just so you know, in the beginning, my wife and I got married at the church she grew up in. So what did we do forever? Who else has done this? We kept going and going, and going, it's horrible. So who do we blame? Whose fault is that? Did God really care that I just kept sticking it out for, you know, this reason of saying, oh, we got married there, I want to, you know, it was bad. So I could decide, do I help change the church or change my atmosphere, right? Because that's what you're going to bring your kids into. So you're going to say, it's okay to be mediocre. And they were worse than that. And that was all back to leadership, wasn't it? Is that a good or bad example? Mm -hmm. True. Um, charity, giving back. So just so you know, when we hear that, who thinks money? Me, me too, yeah. During COVID, 2020 was one of the greatest years for me. Not great for our country and some people, but I was able because I was blessed to say yes to everything. So when a charity said, hey, I need your help. Now if they said, hey, I need 50,000, I wasn't saying yes to everything. I'd say, I can give you 2,500. And what do you need in your business? Just so you know, some charities did never had Venmo. They didn't know how to use it. They didn't know how to collect money differently. So I integrated that into a charity. Uh, I had a friend that had a t-shirt company and he's like, 
what am I going to do? I, I facilitate sororities all across the United States with t-shirts. They're not going to classes or going to things anymore. So we help think differently. We're a family. So we started creating these, and I don't know why, back to my rain man, I slipped me. But anyway, it was like, and you've seen these shirts throughout successfully as clues. Natural did it. Maybe you guys did it. It was like NWA trust or live. We invented that shirt for him. Came up with the idea, crowdsourced it, shared it everywhere. And boom, he was able to make some revenue, give back to charity, to the food bank, and get a shirt company going, get it going online and help a business. So is that part of a family or a tribe? I always say a lot of times it takes a tribe. Feeling good? Yes. Reach over to the person next to you and you two have, and high five them up here. Give some a little energy. High five. High five again. Hold time, hold time, hold time, hold time. You do? Here, I'll have high five you. I got you. You got the greatest hair. I love your hair, by the way. It's awesome. Thank you. I shaved my mustache off this morning. You look like Tom Selleck. My wife says she doesn't recognize me now. Investing in your people. So who's a single agent again? So your people, just so you know, is Haley, is your vendor partners, is somebody else. So could you invite them to a training? That's something that I've done. And back to the, remember, this is building a hundred plus million dollar team. I would not be doing a hundred million without good vendor partners. So I can, why not? But do they need to grow their business? So this is anything that I'm saying real estate specific, really. Could a vendor partner or someone, could you pour in? Could someone from your church is maybe thinking about getting real estate? Could they learn pouring into people and paying it forward? Hey, I read this article. I thought of you. I think that's something that I've done really well. Don't limit yourself. If you heard me in a team meeting, we say this a lot in Keller Williams, and I hate it. I wish I could stop it everywhere. Be lucky if you cat. Who's heard that before when you started? See, here, you guys are great mindset. You never do that. Eight there, I think there's 798 market centers. I had to change it. There used to be 832. Some of them merged. And they would say, be lucky if you cap. That happens a lot. They said, we want to get capping agents. We want to get you where you're getting 100%. But what if we said, let's do 50 million in your first year? Did anybody say that to you when you started? If you didn't hear me, my coach, 82.5 million was my goal first year. How do I do that? I got to get uncomfortable. And I think that's a word that I would add. I don't think I have it on there, but uncomfortable. Be okay with being uncomfortable. So yesterday was my weekly team meeting for my team. And I just brought in a director of sales that's going to be running my team. I had to say in the meeting, in our leadership meeting, I'm a little uncomfortable because I've done these things for the last seven years. And I said, hey, be okay with it. I'm just telling you because he's starting to take things over. But why did I hire him to take things over so I could be in my genius? So is that me? Is that Okay. What do most people do? We hold it in, we get home, we tell our friend, we tell our spouse, I'm uncomfortable, I can't believe it. No, I've said in the meeting, I was like, and I know everyone else is maybe uncomfortable because I heard a couple of our leaders say, well, I own that, I do it this way. Well, whatever you're doing is not working. So we should be 2Xing, 3Xing, and doubling and tripling, right? Yeah. Any questions so far? How are we feeling? Helpful, good, tired, good? It's not cold outside, it's beautiful. You guys are like, you're thinking about the pineapple whips, aren't you? So don't limit yourself. And I know I said that, but I'll say it again. I really believe that. If you've heard or ever heard Adam Hergenroth, if you guys know him, he owns Libyan with Gary. He has limitless. I believe that. I think that's really, really important. So no limits. So back to what would 200 grand, what would that look like? What would you do if you made 200 grand more? Was that a problem? Yeah. Because what is it? Does a GPS and think about this? I heard this on a podcast. Does a GPS care where you were yesterday? Say no. No. It knows where you're going. You're plugging in where you're going, and I think that's something important when I think about feeling forward and just that was yesterday. I forgot about yesterday. Where am I going? So to me, my wife wants her toes in the sand. Maybe that's something. You live in one of the greatest places. Well, what about a fourplex? What if you're like, hey, I'm not really for a fourplex, but I'd be a 25% owner of a fourplex. Could that happen? See, that's moving it forward too and asking people. So that's another thing is I post on any Facebook group I'm in, I post all the time. I need this, I crowdsource, I ask for this. People want to help people. Cool. So massive lead gen and follow-up. 
What does that look like? And I don't, I might change the word legion because I think you guys glass over when you hear that word. You're like, ah, I gotta do my two hours on. No, it's just about everything that you're doing, just meeting more people. That's all this is. Tom and I know a great insurance person that moved to Northwest Arkansas. So look how many people he knew. Zero. Who's moved to a place where they didn't know anybody? Who's not from here? I know you're not, you know, okay. So here's what he did. And this works for any business. He called 20 people a day. Now he's doing 100,000 a month in premiums. That's a great business. So let's do our calculators again. So 1.2 million times 13%, what's that? 156,000. So year one, he made 156,000 in insurance. Did anybody make that in the real estate business? See, right, he's thinking differently. He didn't know, how many people did he know? Could he have gone, hey, I'm just gonna move this place and I don't know anyone I'm gonna give up. The mindset. And he's a stud, he's making it happen. Now he's doubling, tripling. He's probably making a million a year easily. But when I wrote follow up on here, Gary says, everyone can kind of do lead generation. I'll give you a tactical thing. Who does for sale by owners in here? Okay, an opportunity area. Just so you know, because almost every for sale by owner lists, just so you know, did you know that? Like 91 or 2%. 92%, thank you for that. See, my fact checker over there. <laughs> so in 17 days, this is the system, they'll list with an agent. Four follow-ups is what it takes. Is that math, all that math. So here's what happens. Most agents will follow up one time. Is that fair? You've probably done it. I called him one time and he was like, I'm good. I don't need you. I don't need you. But just so you know, they start to feel the pain. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have a lockbox on my door. Oh, wait a minute. I got to meet people. I'm working. I have to meet people at three at my house. Oh, wait a minute. I need this fixed. Oh, wait a minute. The appraisal came underneath. They list with agents. You know what else? They need to buy. Hey, I'm not here to list your house. I want to be able to help buy you a house. It doesn't cost you anything. Does that cost anything? Could you meet with them? Hey, I have buyers in this marketplace. Can I come tour your home? Is that hard? Keep your little fingers. Point to the side of your head. So back to our 50. What if you added 12 for sale by owners this year? So what's it? I heard we're back in multiples, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So what a $250,000 house sell here? Yes. And what day or? Yes. Okay. So if I added 12 more for sale by owners, we said five grand, that's like 70 grand, isn't it? So is that hard? Simple, yeah. isn't it? We just gotta do the activities. Sam, we've done a tactical piece there, right? You know that saying, um, you heard of the fortunes and the follow-up? I mean, that's what Gary says. So my next one, I and I teach us in uh, U of A, 24 hour rule, and I believe this. If you've ever been around me, I believe this. So who's, let's yell out one thing you've liked I've said so far. Go ahead and tell me one thing that you like that you wrote down. Um, well, She's got seven pages of notes, I love it. No, um, <laughs> education and learning. I okay, okay. So what would that look like in your life? So oh, remember, we're gonna think about fun and we're gonna think about what we like. So would you go to an eight hour training? No. Okay, good. Right. No. So we know who we are. Yeah. Would you do a 30 minute podcast? That's what I do. What do you want the well, education want. to be in the podcast? Um, it depends. I like to learn new things all the time and not necessarily about real estate because I like to keep my options open to other opportunities. Love that. Are you working with any investor clients? Yeah. Just so you know, I hear people all the time. Springfield is a great place to invest. And throughout the United States, you can't buy a house for 250 anywhere, really. Northwest Arkansas, we're 425. We used to be 200. Crazy, isn't it? You can't buy a house. So is what if you added 10 investors this year? What if you did a video? You said, I'm going to do a podcast for 30 minutes a day for a month on how to do video recordings on my Facebook. Here's another thing is, this is not part of the thing, but who has analysis paralysis? Where you how's my hair going to look? How's the lighting? How's the video? And you never record the video. Who's been there? If you work with me, and Tom knows this, I video myself in my truck, wherever it is, immediately. One take wonder. I, I, if I mess up, it's authentic. So just so you know, that's how I communicate, actually, with almost everyone in the world. I don't even text. I do videos. How many do you get a week? A lot. <laughs> I do a video of myself, and I text it to someone. Who's had a client that's not responding to them right now? Anybody? Okay, cool. So let's do this real fast. 
Let's do a video. Uh, you raise your hand too. We're all gonna do it. This is ad hoc, right? So back to being uncomfortable. Um, here's what it would look like. Don't think about this. Hey, awesome Pete. I am in this training with these great people and we were just thinking about you and I told them my favorite client was you. And I know we haven't connected yet, but text me back because I really want to connect. This multifamily would be great for you. All right, excited brother. Was that hard? So I'm gonna text it to Pete. Is he gonna to respond to me? Who else is texting him a video? Here's what else in this world, and I don't even know what chat GPD and all that. I'm just gonna talk about tech. I know we got her back there, the award winner, two award. But back to brilliance. I know my genius. How hard was that? Was that expensive? Was that ninety-seven thousand dollars for a video crew to come? Boom! I'm gonna text it to him, and I do this all the time in all of my businesses, and I get a response. Thanks for the video. It's fun. They're not seeing me as a tech bot. How many times do you know? I don't know about you guys. I want to like jump off a bridge when NAR texts me about my insurance again. I'm like, oh my God, 17 times a day. I was like, oh man. So imagine though, let me ask you this. What if I was the NAR insurance person and I sent a video of myself and then text you? Would you have a conversation with me? I call them just because they did something different. Exactly. So thinking differently. So back to the 24 hour rule, and that's what we're on right now. You have to do it within 24 hours. So what would that look like? So here's what I do to myself. Usually I email Lindsay and I, and I said, hey, let's make sure we sign up for this podcast or this training, or I put it on my calendar tonight. So I have uh, kids, probably a lot of you. So life doesn't really stop until about 8.30. In the summer, I bleeds to nine, I feel like. So from nine to 10 is a lot of stuff on my calendar. No one's texting me or bothering me or doing whatever. And I can do that focus time. That works for me. Also, who starts work at 7 a.m. in here? Okay, a couple, but most agents aren't, aren't awake, right? So from 7 to 8, I get a lot of stuff done, too. So that's my me time. No good? I like that idea. Good. So a couple tactical ideas that you can use. So you have to do it within 24 hours. So put it on your calendar tomorrow. Text three videos. So who, who, does someone want to do it? Do you want to do it? So here's. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad you're swapping. I, I, I so was sitting there. In my phone, there's 7,000 people. So figure it out. Who's five? What if you did this? Now, if it's not on your calendar, it doesn't exist. And I believe this. So if you text five people a day, every day for the next week, do you think your business would grow? Mm -hmm. How long does that really take you? I don't know. And you know what? Know your business and what you're good at. I've never been on a dialer. There's people that do it all the time, 200 people a day. This is not my jam. You know what? To me, it's not. I look at my list. It's not fun for me. Some people love it. They get business and they do it. Some people are great at it. That's awesome. This is what I also love about this business. We all get it differently, don't we? 1,089 listings. Could you find a buyer for that? So back to my follow-up. Here's what I do. When it's close, you know, they give you these 19 things that a buyer wants. If it has four of their must-haves, I'm going to text them a video and I'm going to say, hey, this new listing came on the market or I saw this for sale by owner and I thought of you and I sent the video to them. I do that today, every day. Not, not to buyers as much now. Now it's store people. See, the system works all the time, doesn't it? Do you do that in your early and your late time you're talking I, about or is that just so you know i do it all throughout the day all day every day i'm in my truck i'm going to lunch thing and i actually do everything immediately just so you know you'll forget i never go i'll do it later because you know you won't so that's back to my 24 hour say, i'm really good at that saying i'll do it later i'll do it oh god yeah so so am i but i have to figure out systems and tools so that's why i do it immediately so that's back to one take wonder i do one take and it's out did they really care about yeah go ahead no, did, so when you're doing your day, met before, haven't we? No. Okay, you look familiar. Um, Back to my rain, man. I didn't do very good there, did I? <laughs> no, I'm totally new. Okay, so welcome. When, and never say new, just so you know. We have 1,089 listings. No, I'm not new. I don't know why you thought that. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get a thought, you immediately do it. Or do you pre plan the day? Or immediately. do you just like, hey, because I, I mean, I think stuff all the time, and I'm like, I'll do mm -hmm. So you're just like, think it, do it. How many texts are unread in my phone? None. I, well, I can't say that. Oh, oh I'll throw out a number. 500. 
Close. Close. 265. 405. <laughs> Unread. Unread. So just so you know, this is their priority, not my priority. Let that set in for you for a second. It took a little bit for me to get there, but this is them asking something from me, maybe a vendor that don't have a relationship, whatever it is, you know? Their priority, not mine. Does this move me closer to getting my wife a beach house? No. I got to be working my stuff and my day and my deals and my everything. I'll get to some of these when I do. If it's really important, they'll text me again or they'll know the channels, how to get the Lindsay to set up a meeting with me, right? Is that fair? So who, back to get your finger out, point the side of your head. Is that in your own head? Mm -hmm. There might be people in here I don't like. So I'm not gonna give them my time. They're, they're not in my fun, right? They're not in my learning. They're not in my, does that make sense? So I do it immediately. So Tom knows sometimes like, oh Lord, Mike sent in a video. Our people get it a lot, don't they? So back to follow up and hopefully you know everything I'm telling you, I do. So this morning, I wanna think about our people. There is a little bit of scaling and I have to balance this. So nine companies, I have a lot of leaders. I usually group that text together. Hey, thinking about you guys. And today, I think I said, give me one thing you're grateful for. Mm -hmm. See gratefulness. Mm -hmm. So now they can also, they're part of a family, part of a team. Tom doesn't own or work with the other people, if you will. They're other companies, other owners, but he's part of a team. That's his team. That's his tribe because they're going to help each other. So who's in your tribe? So back to fun, I'm going to tell you something I did. So we're in, um, what, would, what just happened? Family reunion. We're in family reunion we're with some friends. And I told my wife that a friend of ours had a glass eye. And no, no offense if someone does, and this is a bad, bad thing. <laughs> I told her that the girl said, you know, hey, just don't stare at it. She's got a glass <laughs> eye. She's very self-conscious about it. So I called my wife, and we were hanging out for two or three days, you know? So then finally we were at dinner, and I told them, you know, they were just dying laughing. So our group text is, um, I think it's one-eyed group or something like that. You know, and I did a little eye emoji on the thing. Fun. It's funny, right? So the last time she said... We got together this weekend and she was going to wear a patch on her eye to come to the thing. See, right? This doesn't need to be serious, right? We're not saving lives. Make it fun. Is that a bad joke? Sorry. For this one, but, but you see the thing. I had my wife thinking she wasn't certain, right? So all week we just ran with it all the time. It's fine. It's like, man, don't stare at her. Uh, <laughs> how we feeling? So I'm going to get, so I had on here follow-up though. The video works really good with follow-up. And I think why I've been successful in business so, for instance, the head, one of the hedge funds that I'm working with that does bill for rent, he's looking at all the neighborhoods. So, yesterday, we listed a 63-door Econo Lodge. What do most people do? They relist it as a motel hotel. Who's trying to buy motel hotels right now? Not many. Airbnbs, other things. So, I said, what would it take to take it, make it a multifamily? How many people are trying to buy multifamily? Everybody. We had a construction person, it's 25 grand to convert each room to multifamily studios. I text the picture to the hedge fund guy, hey Matt, just thinking about you, 63 door unit, and he's trying to write a contract on it. So see what I mean? I just got it out there. There was no complex, 97 page email with a PowerPoint with numbers. What if he's like, oh, I'm not into that. I did all that email and did that work. So that's something I don't do. I just get it out there, messy. I am somewhat messy, but it makes deals. It makes deals happen. Feel good? Any questions so far? How are we feeling? Good stuff? Helpful? Yes. Yeah, my favorite thing you've told, you've said is uh, done is better than perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, goes into the next one. Thank you, Tom. Is uh, work every day. So here's what I mean by that. So who comes into real estate? And I, I talk to people all the time every day and they're like, oh, I'm here for the flexibility. You earn flexibility. So right now, though, this summer, I'm gone a lot. There was a Sprinter van, and I told you uh, that Sprinter van was 200 grand. Who does that give anxiety to? A lot of people would, my wife too. But here's actually a different way to look at it it's actually only 12,000 a year. We depreciated the full 200,000 because 2021, we had a great year. My wife weighed 500 grand. So we need to figure out a way to write that off for her, don't we? So it's fun. My kids are in the back, and it's it's plush. It's awesome. You can look it up. It's Ultimate Toys, tax 187, 187, 179, right off the whole thing. 
So now, remember I told you 56% in taxes? It's a little bit better now. So quick math, I would have paid 100 more grand in taxes that I saved. Now we have fun. And we're gonna, we did 12 days in the Grand Canyon and Moab and Zion and all that stuff. How fun would that be? My kids are only 10 and six once. So this year we're doing um, Mount Rushmore and Colorado and we're going to the beach for 12 days. This work stop though, back to every day. I'm gonna do something a little bit every day. My teenager, I think it's called right 10 going on 30. Doesn't wake up till nine or 10 now. So I'll work a little bit, you know? And our youngest will come in and hang the bed a little bit. She'll play on the iPad, but I might send out a couple of texts, a couple of messages. So every day I'm doing something. That feel good? Now that doesn't work for everyone. No, you, some people have to be off. I, my brain cannot work that way. It runs all the time, but no, you, okay? So I have to be in the game at least a little bit. What did you say that the Sprinter van place was called? Ultimate Toys. Okay. Actually, don't mind. She's spending that money now. Not me. She <laughs> does Is it fair? I'll show you guys. So here's here's what else, though. So I posted this and said, hey, do you want to look at, and you can go through and you can look at it. Maybe just inspire somebody. I said, who wants to look at luxury property with the dually group? We do it differently. And I that's posted awesome. that on social media. That's so awesome. when was the last time you ran, you rode a 200 grand luxury van? It's got refrigerator and it's like in the movies and looked at luxury property. What if I got one deal from that? Would that be a win? Mm -hmm. Is it fun? I don't know about you. I like looking, I like drinking wow. mimosas. You can pass it around to team. Where's your, where's your twelve thousand dollar a year figure come? Oh, my payment is a thousand dollars a month. Really good question. Great question. I didn't go here. See, you're paying attention. So you can actually finance it as an RV for twenty years. Oh, Lord. Am I ever going to keep it for twenty years? But I depreciated the two hundred thousand. So back to KW Wealth. If you guys are not KW Wealth, that's like unlocked my world. It's awesome. So make sure you guys are going to that stuff. I know Brent Tano was in Kansas City. Did anybody go? I highly it was awesome, wasn't it? He's awesome. I learned a lot from him. Cool. How are we feeling? So we got a couple more we're going to work through. And I just, like I said, pick a couple that you like. But these are things that I do that help me grow this business. And I'll, I'll tell you, you think about it. Now I'm the, one of the owners of our market center. We did a billion. We're going to do a billion. So it's not a hundred million. We're doing a billion now. Is that crazy? How many people are doing a billion in real estate? Not many. 3,300 transactions. Crazy, isn't it? Um, I said on here, and I truly believe this, network with agents, business leaders, charities, go on podcasts, go on Zooms. I'm paying it forward to you because people did that before me, but might I get, I might get a referral from it. Possibly, right? You guys know people that buy houses in Northwest Arkansas? Tom might get a deal. Or just so you know, my insurance company is uh, licensed in Missouri. You guys might get something. We're a brokerage. One of you might buy one of my inventions, and it's theeasysign.com or Keybox Keeper. Does that win? Is that a win for me and you? I'm the only place you can get those two things. I invented it. Is that fun? And do we want to support our own people and our tribe? So I'm paying it forward, and hopefully your business doubles. And then mine grows together, right? Uh, agents, just so you know, I hear my wife all the time at night sometimes. She's talking to someone negotiating. Oh, girl, I know. Oh, yes. The coffee, we're going to get a drink. We're going to do whatever. Oh, the other people were hired, but I'm going to go with you because I know we're going to get it done. It's going to be a great transaction. And your team's going to take care of me. Hmm, think about that. You've ever lost a deal before. Did you maybe lose a deal because of money? maybe not maybe you weren't buttoned up maybe the way you sent the contract didn't have the pre-approval with it together what if you sent a video to the other agent i'm so excited to work with you us luxury girls we need to stay together i'm so excited has anybody ever sent you a video like that yes. okay i love it same thing yes. see how cool would that be right we made fun of it because it was kind of funny but <laughs> but we remember so back to fun and it was memorable yes. wasn't it it was very so I've joined a leadership group. Who's in one right now? So I was in Vistage, which is for CEOs. It was a thousand. So just so you know, I spend a lot of money educating myself. I have seven maps coaching contracts. My executive coach is 1500 uh, EOS training, Vistage training, all that stuff. I wouldn't trade it for the world because my business is a hundred X. Cool, huh? Yeah. 
What if we did uh, together, we did a tech training and we had, so eight people can fit in. It's got two TVs. Right. And uh, just so you know, we only have spots for eight people. How many people would sign up for your, tra your tech training? 20. How many people signed up for that last one? Are they glazed over? Zero, Zero. maybe. Right? <laughs> so C, is it about being differently, isn't it? What if you're like, hey, Dan, uh, Rachel, whoever, you know, I want to rent a sprinter van for the day and we're going to have a contest. If you do 20 hours of tech training with me for a quarter, you get a day in the sprinter van. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so thinking differently, right? Fun. Yeah. I said uh, being maps coaching and coaching. I have a lot of that. I believe that. Because you know what? Sometimes you're this. Who's with me? Everything is here. You need someone to elevate you and go, okay, eyes up. Let's look at it. What do we got going on? So back to if your business doesn't have investors, it can get 30% bigger. If it doesn't have for sale by owners, it can get 30% bigger. If you don't have a hedge fund, it can get 100x bigger, right? So has that word get thrown around a lot? Just so you know, they throw around a lot of cash. and they, they are, They're buying here. They're just not buying with you. Let that set in. 199 tasks to close a home. 199 tasks to close a whole neighborhood. So here's something else. This is tactical. Whenever I did open houses in the beginning, whatever the average is, I didn't do that or lower. Because who's the buyer for that? The average or lower? Me in the beginning was 405 was my price point. I say it all the time. And that's Cross Creek, this neighborhood. It was usually two spouse, spouses or partner, whoever. And they worked and they did a job, both of them. They hired me to do a job. So I wanted to do those all day long. They were quick and they were easy. And I keep moving, I keep moving. The lower price point, challenging. Maybe their credit's not good. We still want to help them and have a heart, but I want to balance through what gets me to my goals. I almost didn't love luxury either. You're probably patient and good because usually one spouse or partner doesn't work and they're all the time breathing on me. Hey, oh my God, they open the lockbox and scratch my door, not my jam. So know where you are and know where you're good at, right? My wife is the greatest with that. Oh, I'm going to show you how she just got under contract. Huh? What's your wife's role on your team? Really good question. A lot of things, good or bad. We have to get boundaries. We do. She is an agent. She only wants to be an agent. I try. We try to loop her in at leadership meetings, different thing. She starts asking too many questions and getting involved. We're like, you're a great an agent. So she did 87 deals last year. Buyers <laughs> or listings or both? Or oh, now she has, thanks to paying education, Dan and Jen and Adam, she, she has a showing partner. And she fought me for two years. No one's going to do it better than me. I can only do it or whatever. Now she's like, greatest thing ever. If you ever let something happen to him, I'll cut you. <laughs> Just so you know, she doesn't work nights and weekends. The showing partner shows all the houses. Because the showing partner wants to do that. Doesn't want to negotiate. Doesn't want to do the contracts. She still made more money in the last two years. Is that thinking differently? That's why we can be at the... So this summer, we're at the beach. We're in Colorado. I'm like, gosh, when am I going to work? We're like in um, Mount Rushmore. We're in, oh, we're doing British Isles. What's her bucket list? We're doing a Disney cruise for like 12 days. I'm like, when am I working? Is that true? But I got leverage. I'm going to work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I said passion about what you're doing. I believe this. Let's, let's answer it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, do you actually have Ignite starting oh. soon? So if you want to. I got, I got one minute. Yeah, you got one minute. Okay, Can good. we take okay. the meeting to a conference room? No, no, I'm, I'm almost done. Too. And I, actually, I forgot. I, so back to Lindsay, and she's going to call me. I have three calls in a row on the way back, too. So, And I am going to go, if anyone needs an RV park, I do go on once in a while. Investors, I meet with them. We have a big RV park in um, Northwest Arkansas. He wants me to look at it. So I meet with investors. It'll probably be about $10 million together. So is that going to, just so you know, it's going to be, you might fall out of your chair. They're easier. An attorney writes the contracts, you know, the buyers coming with a hedge fund or doing whatever, it's easy. So go through and we'll get you this list too. Dream. So back to the beach house or whatever it is, I would challenge all of you to write one thing down. What does that look like? I know you want to buy an investment property, so let's write that down. Thank you again for your service. Be your own CEO. And I tell anyone that works with me, you're your own boss. Tom, your goal, you have the number. And I said, well, you're your own CEO. You do it. How do I support you? So that's for all of you. And then the last thing is I wrote God. You're going to have your own God and what you believe in. But to me, I think it's important. I say it about three times a day, God, family, business.
Feel good? I know who's staying for Ignite. What's the Ignite training? Uh, open houses with Chris Day. Fantastic. Where are you at? You excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you something Ben Kenny told me. He was actually, um, what was he at my office? Hanging out Tuesday. And he said someone on his team did 24 open houses in December. This is in Washington. So some of you go, well, how's that possible? It happened. So she had no business in January. She did seven deals in February. So get uncomfortable, right? Isn't open houses where it's at? So I tell people on our team, do two a month. Sound good? We'll get these to everyone. Was it helpful? Was it good? Thank you so much. Good. Thank you. Thanks for reeling me in. I didn't know what time it was. Lynn's going to be calling me a little bit. Of course. Yeah, actually, I'll best meet you first. It's so always funny. I think I have to do a call. I did not know that I found that interesting, so I think it's awesome. I Thank you. 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 Thank you.